Hi, today we'll be going through how to import a PDF file into AutoCAD and I'll also show you how to convert the PDF into a drawing entity. While you are converting a PDF, there are certain font styles that don't convert properly, such as SHX fonts. So I'll also show you how to fix those fonts once you import into AutoCAD. So to import a PDF into AutoCAD and convert into a PDF AutoCAD drawing, I'm going to use this typical staircase section drawing as an example. If you've got a lot of has patterns and things like that, or dense hazards, it takes a bit longer to convert into a CAD drawing, so it's a good idea to change the scale, or maybe the has patterns into something else. But if you're happy to wait for a few minutes, then that's fine. So this is a PDF file which I'm going to try to import into PDF. There are some has patterns, like concrete has patterns here, which will take a bit more, which looks like this. A lot of points and things like that, so it's a good idea to make it switch out. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to use AutoCAD 2020 to do this. So if you go into the Insert tab, there is a PDF import in here. Select the section, press Open. There are a few settings you can use scale, insertion point and so on. I usually like to change the scale once I bring it into AutoCAD but if you want to do this before you import, before you bring it in that's fine. I'm going to leave this as a default so I'm just going to press OK. It will think for a little bit and it'll evaluate all these lines so as I said if you've got a lot of has patterns and things like that it'll take a little bit longer. So I'm going to pause it for a little bit and then come back it will auto finish. Okay, so now it's brought that PDF into AutoCAD. We can just change AutoCAD. They come as lines, dotted lines come as dotted lines, so it's very easy to work. As I said earlier, some of the font types, as HX font types, they don't come in properly. They come as lines and things like that that you can't edit. So to change them into a normal font, you just go to recognize SHX text and just select the fonts you want to change and press enter. So now it's changed that into a normal font, I can then go and change whatever I want to. It's a very useful tool and if you want to change them into a paragraph text rather than each individual text, I can also select them and then go to my express tool and then convert to end text. So now they've become a multi-line text and then I can just change them. In the same way over here, they have been broken into pieces like this. So to change them, once again, I go to recognize SHX text, press enter, close. I can recognize text, enter, okay. Now they are normal text that you can then edit. This is a very useful tool in AutoCAD. I think it started a few years ago. In the old versions of AutoCAD, you weren't able to do this, but in the recent versions, you can. Thank you for watching.